Center number two is going to be a sentence sort. So we are going to open our notebooks to the page that we glued in there for dependent clauses and complex sentences. We've been doing a few sentences uh, every few days. So we're going to go, actually, I think we're going to start here with number 15. It says, because foster grandparents need to get to know their grandchildren, they visit the children each day. So the first thing we know that we need to do is identify phrases that we can get rid of. So I see here an infinitive, to get, so I'm going to put brackets around it. And then I see another one, to know. So I'm going to put brackets around that one. And whatever I'm doing here, you're doing at your seat in your notebook. Um, the next thing we would look for and rule out if we were doing sentences is, is this a compound sentence? And I can tell that it is not because there's a comma but no fanboy after it. So the next thing I'd try to figure out is, is it a complex sentence? And if it is, I should be able to find a subordinating conjunction or an anawubis. And I see because here, um, and I was thinking it might be a preposition, but it can't be because because as a preposition would have the word of after it. So this must be a subordinating conjunction. So we're going to put a box around it. And we know that if we find a subordinating conjunction, we've got to be able to find a subject and a verb following it. So because what, let's underline our dependent clause, because foster grandparents need to get to know their grandchildren all the way up to that comma there, which also tells me this is a transition. And within there, I need to know who or what is this sentence about. And it says, foster grandparents need to get to know their children. I think it's talking here about grandparents. I've got a modifier here. What kind of grandparents? Foster grandparents. And what do the grandparents do? The grandparents need. So that's got to be my verb, and that's an action verb. And we're not going to worry about compliments right now. Um, but if you would like to try it, I surely encourage you to do that. Then I need to find the independent clause. They visit the children each day. And I need to find a subject over here. Who or what is that part of the sentence about? It's about they. And what do they do? They visit. And that is our action verb. So I can tell, um, and what I want you to do is label these as you find them. And we were just doing D for dependent, and that's this underlined part, plus I, which is this other part that's not underlined, is my independent clause equals complex. So what I want you to do now is finish 16, 17, and 18 on your own and then you're going to bring it to me to check. After you do that, you're going to take a copy of this handout. It's got the seven wonders, the Colossus rises. You're going to do a sentence sort. You're going to have one page, I believe I printed on gold, and then the other page is on white. This is the one you're going to cut out and label. And um, I want to, at the top of your page, you should have um, what do you look for for each of the sentence types. For a simple sentence, you need to fill in. You're looking for just a subject and a verb and any kinds of phrases that could go along with that. So you're going to eliminate those on each card before you cut it out and glue it in the right spot. For a compound sentence, um, we're going to look for a subject and a verb and then a comma fanboy and then another subject and a verb or we might find a semicolon. And for a complex sentence, we'll look for a subject and a verb with an awubis followed by a subject and a verb. And this part, this dependent clause, could also be at the very beginning of the sentence. Okay. So let's take a second and do one example. It took us a moment to realize that the white fragments were his teeth. This is such a good book if you ever want to read it. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is eliminate phrases. I got rid of to realize is an infinitive. And that's all I see. I don't see a comma fanboy, so I know this is not going to be compound, so I'm going to move this over here because I know it's either going to be simple or complex.
So if it's complex, I should find a subordinating conjunction. And since I don't have my subordinating conjunctions memorized yet, I should have my notebook out. I should be looking for them. And I see that is a subordinating conjunction. Oops, and that tells me that's where the clause begins. That what? That the white fragments where his teeth is my whole dependent clause. Fragments is the subject, which you should be labeling. Where is the verb? And then over here in the independent clause, it is the subject and took is the verb. And since I found a dependent clause, I would glue that one over here. Okay, so you have one example done for you. And remember, your subjects and your verbs and on all of these need to be labeled to get full credit for this assignment. Okay. All right, so that's what you're going to do. Make sure that you are only using one dot of glue um, so that you don't get too much of a mess. Um, if you don't finish this, it's homework, and you may work together. If you finish early, you can work on reading your Middle Ages novel or do your um, uh, article of the week.